ended one all. Was it a fair result? Yeah, well, I think um, we deserve win. Um, we play very good, and yeah, it's part of the game that um, one have to make mistake. I mean, we have a very young team. I mean, this kind of mistake they have to do to learn from it. So I think uh, points against uh, champions is okay for us. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that mistake again, but let's talk about the missed opportunities. In the entire season, yes, you can play that brilliant football. Yes, you can really detect the pace. The possession and the movement has been ex excellent. But it's the finishing that is looking so poor for your side. What needs to be done? to get a better finish in the season? Yeah, well, I think it's very simple. We need, uh, I mean, good strikers, and this is what we are going to work on. Like you said, we are playing very good football. We need to have a killer instinct in the front of goal. So, I mean, we are glad that we stay in the league. We saw our mistakes. Definitely, next season will be better. I mean, the first season for Accra Lions, it has been a very good journey for your side with this young team. What message do you have for your numerous supporters who are here? Yeah, well, I think uh, we thank them. I mean, they have been supporting us since they won, and I mean, I'm assuring them that next season will be, I mean, more, they will see Accra Lions more, more, more and more. So they should keep on supporting us, and definitely we will make them happy. We thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Good, Coach, we are grateful for your time once more. It ended one all, and just like what you predicted, a very slippery, a very confident, a very good side like Accra Lions. You played against one one fair result yeah i think it's a fair result i think we had our chances especially in the first half uh, we were very dominant in the first half created some few do no full chances but half chances that we could have taken advantage of i mean the second half i think they came in especially when they got their goal so when they got their goal they, they sat back and decided to knock uh, the ball around Somewhere around that time, I think we lost our shape, so we gave them those spaces to, to operate. But then uh, we did a few substitutions, but we needed to score. So we were down, and uh, we had to do some changes. So we sacrificed Nete for Evans, and we asked Boateng to go and adapt to Mbella. And I think when we did those changes, um, we, we, we got some spaces to play. What could have gone wrong with Frank Etuga and Mbella? He seems to be off color again, like like it happened last week when yeah. he got all the opportunities, but couldn't get his name on the score sheet. It happened today. What seems to be the problem? I, I, probably, uh, I'm just guessing. Uh, maybe um, he's anxious to score. Uh, that's why. If you look at, for instance, the back pass that was given to him, typically of him, he scored the same goal at. Um, he, he scored a similar movement at Wafa. And then Mediama. And he does a lot of this at training. But uh, when you are too eager to score, sometimes some of these things happen. So I think probably that's the reason. The icing on the cake will definitely will be him winning the golden boot. You, you think with, with the 21 goals he scored, he's still going to win the golden boot? Uh, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. But for now, he's, he's the leading goal scorer. So we, we take it as it is. Um, he's a good player, he's a fine player. From Cameroon, he's come down. Not just a good, uh, not just a prolific goal scorer, but you can see he's very technically good. He can read and analyze the game. He's very comfortable on the ball. He can play. His movement, even without the ball, is, is super. So I think he has come to add some color to our league, which is very good. Many uh, thanks, coach. Also. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How would you sum up your performance for this season? Um, first of all, I will, I will say. <laughs> I thank God for um, for how far He has brought me, and it's been a great season so far, and I'm looking for forward for the best to come. Right, um, you've had a wonderful season, but I'm sure many are asking when is Imoro going to be with the Real Black Stars? <laughs> we, we've not seen that lately. Do you feel your performance should be able to push you to the Black Stars? I mean, this season you've been phenomenal. Yeah, with my performance, yeah, yeah. For me, I think, um, yeah, I'm capable. But maybe it's not yet my time. So I'm still waiting for my time to come. So. Your teammates are all over you because of your leadership qualities. I mean, this season, nine assists with two goals from the free kick, the dead ball situation. You've kept improving time and time. What message 
would you give to your numerous supporters here? Cherry you up. Um, I thank them. I thank them for their support and their prayers too. They've been supporting with prayers. I thank them all for, for that. And next season is uh, Kotoko going into the Champions League. Yeah. What, in your view, think that, I mean, it should be done for, for the team, in your view? Um, they shouldn't expect anything, um, anything less than uh, good performance from us. Yeah. So, what do you think the coach, yourself, the players needs to do to get yourself into probably the money zone or into real contention in the Champions League? We need to work hard. We need to work hard for that. All right. Amazing. Thank you.